Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will talk about uh, depth of field using the depth map. Let's start. This is our scene. First of all, you have to know or decide how, which teapot you want to focus on. In this case, I want to focus on this teapot. So now, if you go to render settings, then render elements, add, you raise the depth. You will notice here that you can put minimum and maximum. So what's minimum and what's maximum? The minimum value is everything behind it you can see it correctly and the maximum means that everything will be everything after it will be blurred. So now how to put your values? If you go here helpers tape and draw any helper. Now Alt A to the camera our camera and check this and OK and for this also here now you can move the helper for example I want everything behind this I can see it correctly so I'm focusing now on this teapot if you go to help uh, our tape you will see that there is a value here about 30 so you can go to our minimum and put 30 and now move the here the tape until something like that so I do not want to see this I want to, uh, to be blurred uh, let's see the value now fifty seven now between these two values there will be a gradient so for example now here, uh, here in this point Blur, it will increase, increase, increase until it reaches here. It will be the maximum. Okay, now put our camera here and render. Okay, now if we go here and raise the depth, you will see our map. Let's save them. I will save this. I will save it. Mm scene dot pg and this also for z depth now let's go to other photoshop file open let's open these two pictures Now, if you select this picture and cut it, then go to here, go to channels, add channel, now paste it, return, ok, so that's it until now. Now let's go to filter, blur, lens blur. Now from source put it alpha 1. Now put invert. You can now from here you can for example put it something like that or something like that as, as you want. For me I'll put it maybe something like that. You can change the settings if you want. Okay. can change the colors for example something okay so this is it if you have any questions you can visit us on www.grok.net thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson